Hey, Virgo Summon Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for October 19, 2021. Just a friendly reminder, Virgos, I do personal readings all the time. No matter where you are in the world, Virgos, I will schedule you in. <laughs> you can be anywhere around in the world. I will schedule you in, all right? Um, regardless, though, you can do that at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense and much more on my website there. So, Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Devil card. You guys could have been dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, a Capricorn, a Scorpio, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, and uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and an Aquarius. <laughs> Virgos. So, <gasps> did you guys feel that? <laughs> oh my, did you did you feel it, Virgos? Did you? All right, Virgos, coming with the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the and the Ace of Swords. You guys are getting your aha moment, Virgos. You guys are literally getting the clarity that you guys need with the set with the with the Ace of Swords energy right there. You guys were in a, such a very loving and beautiful relationship. You guys really thought that this relationship was gonna take you so far. You really believe that this this you guys were having your cups filled. You guys were emotionally fulfilled. It was supposed to be a happy ending. Somebody here also has children, and then later on, you guys came to the realization like where the fuck are you going what did you do what were you thinking of when you did the, the when you did the shit that you did seven of swords this person literally had the audacity to deceive you betray you and and dip set up on, upon you guys here virgos coming with the seven of swords energy a lot of you guys are going to end up seeing a black feather randomly wherever it is that you guys are virgos you guys are going to see a black feather it's going to be a good omen it's nothing negative virgos it's actually protection and safety that as a matter of fact the shit that you guys are going through uh divine is letting you know with a dark with a black feather that things are going to come to an end and everything that does not serve you anymore you can release and let it go virgos Regardless, though, you will see the truth for exactly what it is. And uh, once you guys see that people here are, are only thinking for themselves, you're never going to give people the opportunity to come into your energy like that again. You guys are going to start seeing hawks here, uh, crows. Uh, I said hawks. So some of you guys may be seeing hawks here, Virgos, and also crows at the same time, all right? Some of you guys might have a little bit of hate in your heart at the moment coming with the Four of Cups. Very bored. You guys are definitely spiritually ascending, Virgos. Uh, but regardless, though, if you do need have apathy in your heart please make sure that you guys are carrying on you a carnelian crystal to take care of yourselves crystals do wonders virgo you guys are going to be like oh barbie you don't know nothing about crystals no me i mean no i mean no everything about a crystal okay so get get yourselves a carnelian crystal virgo so you guys got apathy in your heart from the way that people have deceived you you guys are going to go towards spirituality uh spirituality will be able to heal you you guys are going to get the that that green light for you guys to be able to go and ascend here all right make sure you guys continue to remove the, the addictions the negative things that are holding you back from being in your power cycles are about to be removed karmic cycles are about to be over and done with here as well with the wheel card there you guys are going to be standing in your power coming with the king of wands energy aries leo sagittarius this person here may have gone through a lot of addiction but the cycles are going to be over this person's going to end up taking control of their life virgos this is you guys and saying you know what i have control of my life i have control of 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 my addictions i don't need to continue to relapse over stupid shit relapsing could be like you know you go in towards a narcissist and you keep relapsing for their energy keep relapsing for the love that they gave you which they don't give any love virgos it's all just love bombing and manipulation so an addiction is an addiction it doesn't have to necessarily be just drugs and alcohol it could be absolutely anything being addicted to anybody or person place or thing is still continue is still going to be an addiction regardless so you guys are going to be coming out of it releasing the karmic cycles anything that does not serve you you're letting it go and moving on with your life here virgos all right coming with the queen of wands the knight of pentacles you guys are workaholics workaholics virgos you guys are focused on your wealth, focused on getting rich, all right? Coming with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys are just going to continue to work because that makes you happy, and you guys are going to be able to very much so succeed and get to your victory. They're coming with the Chariot card. Congratulations, sweethearts. Uh, cancer energy, uh, regardless though, this is you guys' energy. You guys are going to start hustling, working. If the love life is not working for me, then I might as well just get go to, go to work and, and get the bag, you know? You'll be able to get there, Virgo. Just the chariot card upright. That's success in this deck here, okay? Uh, King, uh, Knight of Swords, all right? So, oh, 
This person is very arrogant, Virgo. You guys are also very disappointed with the fact that this person here had deceived you. The way they ended up running off on so a so quick note. Somebody here makes a very fast and hasty quick decisions to run up off of you. And you guys are really, really upset and disappointed with the way that this person had treated you. Alright, you guys are going to have a decision that's going to be coming into the near future. And it, and it is going to be a very good... The decision that you're going to end up making is going to leave you guys very much so indecisive because you're not going to know what to choose. Well, what are you going to choose, Virgos? It's like snake and ladders. It's like, ooh... You know, <laughs> move up, Keep continue to go up, Virgos. Don't be letting those snakes try and touch you or reach you. At the end of the day, you will make the decision that you need, which will bring you guys into straight success coming with the world card there, all right? You guys are really sad, disappointed. There is going to be obviously a complete ending with the, with, the, with the lover's card there. Whoever it is that you guys love so much, you guys have the key to to your somebody here here has the key to your heart all right virgos uh at the end of the day you love this person very very much you guys may also end up be meeting somebody else here virgos you guys need to go forth and and stop being so afraid of the unknown with the three of wands are you gonna go are you going to not go towards your future are you guys just going to stay stagnated and just continue to be sad about the love and the love connection that you had with this person if it's done and over with let it go it doesn't matter here virgos at the end of the day uh you guys are manifesting the two of cups you guys are manifesting new love in you guys's life seven of wands in reverse you guys may be really really embarrassed over the fact that you guys allowed somebody in your life that you thought you were going to have a happy home and marriage with here as well which didn't end up working but also virgos you need to make sure that you guys continue to protect your energy with the seven of wands in reverse you see that she's protecting herself uh, and, and she's literally protecting herself. You need to make sure that you protect yourself from people who don't want to give you the love that you deserve. Two of Cups, you guys are going to be manifesting new love and it's going to be coming in from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You guys have a new relationship coming for you. This person's going to want the Ten of Pentacles, financially stable. This person makes a lot of money. They got money in the bag here, Virgos. Scorpio Energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius, Taurus Virgo Capricorn here as well. This person is very much so financially stable. What they want is they want a successful relationship that's going to lead into marriage. This person's very smart, very rational, very strategic and they're going to end this person might be a little bit hesitant and scared at certain times or this could be you guys virgos like oh my god what if the words what if don't exist they don't exist get them out of your out of your vocabulary the word what if does not exist oh my god well what if it doesn't work out tower card <laughs> well what if the relationship crumbles tower card we were going to be scared of the tower for the rest of our lives Get over it, Virgos. There's no such thing as the word what if. You're going to go, you're going to learn, you're going to experience it, and you're going to continue to move on with your life knowing that you have the knowledge that you need and how you got it is, is nobody's business but your own. What you have to go through in life, what, come, what comes for you is you need to experience that, okay? What if does not exist, even if you do hit a tower moment. And, and you learn from it. You learn what it is that you don't want. You learn what it is that you do want. So it's not a loss, all right? At the end of the day, it's a tower card in reverse. The fact that there's lightning here, Virgos, is to let you guys know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever it is, whatever darkness you guys are going through, you'll be able to overcome it. You'll be able to overcome it, all right? So regardless of this person's going to want, this is somebody who's very financially stable. They might not be emotionally available at certain times, but they are very good at communicating. They're very loving. They're family-oriented. And they want to be successful and rich and wealthy, just like you. You guys have gone through a lot of pain, Virgo. Some of the wounds that you guys carry in your heart is still not healed up as of yet. But do believe that you guys have better days coming ahead of you. Things are going to start picking up and moving a lot faster for you. You guys got a King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who has a lot of love. This person might be also a healer at the same time. Um, I just heard Rasta. Somebody here might be a Rasta. Uh, Rastafari in here, Virgos, but at the end of the day, Page of Pentacles, do expect the message here, Virgos, and it's going to make you guys very much so happy. This person's going to want to express their way that, the way that they feel about you here, too. Uh, enough with the struggling here, enough with the fighting. Uh, Ace of Pentacles as well. This person's going to be reaching out to you, giving you a gift. It's going to bring a lot of happiness. Your wishes are going to be completely fulfilled. Whatever it is that you guys are bringing to fruition, whatever you guys are manifesting, Virgos, please understand that it's going to bring a birth to you guys, all right? You guys have made, somebody here may have also struggled 
with getting pregnant Virgos it looks like your time is coming and baby is going to be on the way and you're not going to realize it until the last second which will make you guys super super happy also Virgos it will bring a lot of happiness towards you. I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles like it's a seed. The seed is coming for you. Some of you guys are not able to get pregnant, Virgos, but it's going to end up happening for you guys in, in the near future. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, excuse me. You guys are going to continue to push forward. It's saying here, Virgos with the Four of Swords, you guys have such a beautiful heart that it's time for you guys to isolate, reflect, and uh, go into hermit mode for the next little while. It's okay. That's okay. You guys have carried a lot of shit that does not serve you anymore, okay? Release and let it go. Retreat, four of swords, go into meditation, hermit yourselves, reflect, see what you see what needs to be gone and see what needs to be invited into your energy, right, Virgos? Nine of Pentacles, you're single, you're happy, you're spiritual, you're doing your thing. And look at that. After the time that you guys take for yourselves to reflect, to retreat, to sleep, to nourish yourselves, you guys get the you guys are happy. You're single, you're financially abundant, you're good to go. The sun card, you're happy again, Virgos, nothing is wrong. Emperor, you guys are going to be taking control of your life and standing in your power, not being phased by anything that anybody tries to throw towards you. Page of Swords, there's somebody here of a new lover who's going to be very much so attracted to you. This person's going to invite you out. They're going to be very sweet with you. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys are probably going to meet this person either at a party or you're just going to meet this person at a work setting and then they're just going to be really really curious about you and uh, maybe in, even invite you out to go out with some friends also all right but they're definitely going to be like trying to see maybe they're going to be also asking friends about you however all right but you guys are totally standing in your power with the queen of swords you guys have been there done that you already know what's up <laughs> Virgos, you guys have been through a lot, and that's why you guys don't move for anybody with the Queen of Swords or the Hangman. You guys are highly, highly intuitive here, uh, and and you guys literally always surrender yourselves to to the to the divine. Like whatever it is that the divine wants, that's exactly what you guys are going to do. Queen of Swords, Virgos, standing in your power here. Some of you guys are introverts. You know, I don't really like to go out a whole lot. So if this person was to go invite you and ask you to go out with they with their friends. The answer is, in fact, going to be a no. If you want to hang out with this Queen of Swords energy, which would be a Virgo or vice versa, then please understand that this person does not do well in busy settings. Do not invite them to the city. <laughs> not the country either. None of that. All right? This person's good with... With getting some coffee and just going for a drive, this one. They're very, very humble and they're okay, Virgos. Uh, regardless, though, <clears throat> uh, with the hangman to the judgment card, right? You guys are going to be making a decision with the Four of Pentacles there. You're saying, you know what? I have more than what I need and I don't need anything else. Two of Wands. Uh, you guys are going to be looking into the future and just sitting as you guys are. Very much so unbothered. You're not worried. You're the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. I don't need nothing from you. Whatever. You want me to go hang out with your friends? That's I don't do that. I don't I don't do stuff like that. I don't I don't like stuff like that. Some of you guys might be. Some of you guys are just like no. But if that's the direction that this person is going to be coming towards you, the answer is going to be in fact a no. You might go anyway because you don't want to be that type of person. But it's saying after that ends up happening, <laughs> you guys are calling judgment and saying you know what I'd prefer not to do that again. Four of Pentacles, I'm going to continue to move forward and look towards my future and see what else I need to do. And I'm just going to sit by myself, Queen of Pentacles, I'm unbothered. And uh, thanks, but no thanks, all right? You guys have been, you guys are healers, Virgos, you know what I mean? You That's what you guys are doing. You guys need to, just, you guys just chill. You guys are healers. And uh, you guys love to be the ones to give to people here. But this person is going to be coming to the realization with the Page of Cups that they're going to be coming back to give back to you again. They're going to want to give to you. You see me? That's what they're, That's where they come into the realization. They're like, oh shit, I got to go back and give to them because they are a very loving, beautiful person and, and I want to and I want to be around them. But you guys are always in your power with the Nine of Wands energy. In order to get to the heart of this Nine of Wands, you're going to have to fight all their walls down. Are you, if you're willing to break down the walls of somebody in order to get in their heart space, then you can't be giving up on them. And if you're going to be coming in as a page of cups and then wanting to give up on them, don't bother them at all. Just don't do it. Leave them alone. And don't be a coward. 
uh, Knight of Wands. You guys are happy, Virgos. You're living your life. A lot of you guys are le releasing and letting things go, okay? Um, you guys are definitely shifting your energies around uh, as well, Virgo. Coming with the Strength card, the Ace of Wands. You're getting new beginnings that are going to be coming towards you guys. And that's because your heart space is completely wide open. And for that, you guys are going to be moving in silence with the Moon card there. You've been through a lot of darkness. You're releasing the darkness here too. During the Full Moon Energy, which is coming in on the October 20th, you guys are going to be releasing. You're releasing a lot of shit that does not serve you anymore. And then the moment that you guys do that... <sighs> You guys are going to be having new beginnings that's going to be and so empowering for you guys that will be bringing you the achievements that you're looking for, which will bring you the happiness that you that you guys need. Some of you guys might be even calling in your ancestors, doing your thing with the Knight of Wands energy. Uh, however, though, with the with the moon right there, that's going to be the blood moon. It's going to be very, very powerful, Virgos, and it's going to be very powerful because it's going to be in the energy of Aries energy. All right, the full moon is coming in to Aries, so for that... It will be very powerful. Make sure you guys are releasing, letting go, and moving on with your life, which is exactly what you guys are going to do with the Eight of Cups energy right there, all right? Two of Pentacles. So Virgos, you guys are going to be trying to juggle a few things here, but you guys are about to get balanced again. There's a death and a rebirth, right? The death is the fact that you guys are releasing everything that does not serve you and a rebirth to everything that's coming towards you. Ace of Wands, your manifestations are coming to fruition now for that, which will bring you the most happiest times that are coming for you. Four of Wands, celebrations, being around people that you love and only around people that you actually love here at Virgos. Enough with the Five of Swords, enough with tormenting yourselves, enough with uh, battling yourselves and thinking that and confusing yourself there's nothing there's nothing to think about death and a rebirth let it go start brand new the, the past is done and over with some of you guys might be hanging around with people who are not your friends i would say let them go too and then be around people who actually want to be your friend for that matter the fool card virgos you guys are going to start taking new leaps of faith because when you guys do the fool card there please understand that the moment that you decide to take responsibility and to start going into new directions of the fool and 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 saying, you know what, I'm free. I'm free from the torment. I'm free from the confusion. I'm free from tormenting myself. I'm free from bullshitting myself and 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 sabotaging myself. You see what I mean? I'm free from from me always battling myself on a mental level. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna free myself from it and I'm going to allow life then the universe just take take control and for that the universe is always going to catch you virgos you guys you guys have been manifesting your seeds are coming to fruition with the seven of pentacles enough with enough tormenting yourselves here okay with the justice card things are going to be balanced out for you guys virgos high priestess you're highly intuitive you guys have all your manifestations coming to fruition you guys have stressed out about your manifestations so much you guys have been wondering like when are my manifestations going to be coming when are, when are they going to be i've been planting and planting i've been working hard i've been busting my ass off when is it going to come when because you guys have been sitting there in the five of cups energy like i've worked so hard but how come my manifestations are not coming to fruition but virgos little do you guys know your manifestations are here ace of cups one 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 your portals are open that's a portal that's a portal your portals are open stop being sad not everything is going to happen when you work real hard you go, you know, you don't sleep for 10 months straight, you bust your ass off, and you don't see any results, what are you upset for? You're not in the same place that, that you that you started. You see what I'm, you've accomplished a lot. That means your manifestations are happening. Are you looking to become successful or rich real quick? It takes time. Always enjoy the journey. You can't go from zero to 100 real quick. Some people do. But I guarantee you that those people there, they also crash at the same time when they reach 100 because they wasn't enjoying the journey. Enjoy the journey, Virgos, because I guarantee you all that stress that you guys have been stressing about, you guys are going to laugh at it afterwards. Like, I can't believe I was actually stressed about it. Look at that. Six of Wands. What are you guys stressed out about? What are you stressed out for? You're stressed out because your manifestations are not coming to fruition. But little do you guys know you're going to be looking back and overcoming them, coming over the fear, the stress. When is it going to come? When is it, you know? And you're going to look at yourself and start laughing. You'll be like, I can't believe I was actually stressed out about it. I can't believe I tormented myself and, 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 and thought that I could have a victim mentality. Like someone, you know, uh, regardless of Virgos, you guys are incredibly powerful. You guys are manifesting the things that you guys are needing. And uh, it's time that you guys 
uh, get out of that victim mentality and, and stressing yourselves out because what you guys don't see coming is the fact that you guys are really, really powerful. Manifestation does not happen overnight. And I told you guys this many times before. Man manif you manifest one day, it might take a, a year, it might take two years. But when you continue to put your energy, heart, and, and tears into it and sweat, there's no reason why it should not manifest. It will manifest, Virgos. Look at that. You guys are so powerful, Virgos. It's coming in for you guys, coming with the Magician card. Because you guys have been very much so patient. And you guys have worked so, so hard, Virgos. Continue to move forward here with the Six of Swords. You guys have gone through so much turbulence, so much trials here too. Always tormenting yourselves. Eight of Swords, struggling, PTSD, suffering on a mental level here as well. You guys are going to be able to come out of that, Virgos, all right? Because you guys are so very much so loving and compassionate here as well. With the Ten of Swords, you guys have gone through the pain. Nobody will ever be able to understand the pain that you guys had to go through. Nobody will ever be able to understand how you were able to make it through the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> People from your past are going to be like, yo, I thought we deaded you off. How are you still, how are you still moving? <laughs> and that's because you guys fucking worked for it, Eight of Pentacles. You kidding me? You guys worked for it. Worked and worked and worked and worked and worked. Look at if I want to say, okay, we can remove that. We can move, remove the the green candle and say she you knows she's looking at the ten of swords. Yeah, she's looking at all the struggles that she had to go through, and she had to know she or he had to walk alone on this path. Nobody came to save this person. Nobody was able to save this person. Even when people wanted to try and save them, nobody was actually able to save this person because it wasn't their journey to fight. It was this person's journey to fight. The Eight of Pentacles, they made it through the torment. They made it through the victim mentality. They made it through the trials and, 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 and turbulence. They were almost going to drown and they still friggin' made their way to tread and get through all that shit. This person here, this Eight of Pentacles, worked so incredibly hard. Nobody will understand what it means to work this hard. Nobody will understand what it means to work this hard. Because this person didn't go from zero to a hundred real quick. This person had to actually, there's that song that goes with uh, Lady Gaga. How does it go? Um, oh, Virgo, there's a song for Lady Gaga. I can hear it now. Um, I'm not good with stuff like this, but I do hear it. I just have to find it now. How does it go? Uh, let it rain or something. Let it rain on me. Rain on me, rain, rain, rain on me, <laughs> rain on me by Lady Gaga. You guys have gone through so much pain and no Virgos, this one here, they didn't go from zero to a hundred real quick. This one went from zero to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, back to zero. And then 10, back to zero. And then 15, back to eight. Okay. You deserve the world and much more here, Virgos, all right? For the person who I'm specifically reaching out to at this point, you deserve the world. You're so loving, so compassionate, and so sweet. You're so kind to a lot of people here that even people who don't deserve your kindness, you're still kind to them, Virgos. And that's because you guys bring healing energy with the temperance card there. You're very, very sweet, Virgos. N never downgrade yourselves. And no matter how much you guys stress about it, I promise you guys, Virgos, you're going to have the last laugh because all those trials that you had to go through was all tests by the universe to literally see how badly do you want it? How badly do you want the success? How badly do you want to be where it is that you guys are reaching, about to reach? In order to be where it is that you guys are trying to get to, of course you have to go through all this pain. Because the only way for you to understand how badly you actually want something, you're going to have to fall a couple times. And then you're going to have to get right back up. You're going to fall and get right back up. Fall and then get right back up. And that's exactly what you guys did. You fell. You crawled. You got up. You cried. You did whatever you needed to do, Virgos. But the one thing that you did not do is give up. You should be proud of yourself and congratulate yourselves, Virgos. You deserve this. Good for you, Virgos. Congratulations. Thanks, cuties. Bye.